children welcome back to another interesting class in today's class we will learn all about anita and the honey bee hi i am anita khushwaha i live in bachaha village which is located in muzaffarpur district in bihar i will tell you my story when i was a child I used to spend a lot of time with my goats as I had to take them for grazing. One day as I was passing by the village school I quietly sat behind the children who were studying. The teacher was telling very interesting things about the plants to the students and the students were also keenly listening to her. It was really enjoyable experience. I then talked to my parents. Pitaji, I want to go to school. No, you can't. If you go to the school, who will look after the goats? Please, Pitaji, I want to study. I request you to allow me to go to school. No. You can't do that. Oh, then I should talk to the teacher. She will explain the importance of getting the children educated to my parents. Hmm, good idea. Teacher ji Please explain the importance of education to my family. Sure, why not? Why don't you send your child to school? It is the right of every child. You don't even have to pay anything for her education up to class 5. Is that true? Yes, it is. Then I should allow Anita to go to the school. So Anita, start coming to the school from tomorrow. After that, I started going to school and time passed by. Now, I have passed class 5. In higher classes, I will need some money. What would I do then? Hmm. I think I should start giving tuition to the younger students. This way, I will be able to earn some money and some bit my fees. I started the tuitions, and I also encouraged other parents to send their children to school. My mother also helped me in my studies. She did all household works. One day, I and my friend were going past a lychee orchard. Look at these yummy lychees and their flowers. Hey, the honey bees are attracted to the flowers. Sounds interesting. I also want to keep bees and collect honey. But how should I start beekeeping? You need to join the beekeeping course run by the government. I will surely get myself enrolled for that. Now, I started my training. Do you know that honey bees lay their eggs from October to December? No, I don't. Thanks for this useful information. This will be the best time for beekeeping. I have completed my course in September. Now I should start my own business. But for that I will need around 5000 rupees. I need to start taking the tuitions again. I have collected 5000 rupees. 
For beekeeping, I need two boxes, and each box will cost rupees two thousand. With the remaining one thousand, I will buy sugar to make syrup for the honey bees, and medicines to clean the beehives. It's December, and now I have so many bees that I need to buy more boxes. Beekeeping is not an easy task. You know, sometimes the bees sting my hands and they get swollen. Ah, it was too painful. In February, the flowers came on litchi trees. I kept four boxes in the orchard. From each box, I got 12 kg of honey. That means from four boxes, I got approximately 48 kg honey. Isn't this amazing? Well, I will sell this honey in the market and I will use the money that I will get to buy other boxes. But friends, I haven't left my studies. Now, I'm in college which is in town. I go to my college by cycle. Even my parents are also helping me in my business. My mother prepares syrup for the bees. While my father looks after the bees and takes out the honey from the boxes. I go to other villages for meeting and give small lectures about the importance of education. Well, I want to become a wholesale dealer of honey so that I can help the beekeepers in the village get the right price of honey. Hey Anita, can you tell me in detail about the beehives? Yes, why not? Every beehive has one queen bee, few males and many worker bees. The queen bee lays eggs. The worker bees work all the time. That is they look after the baby bees. And they build the hive and even collect nectar from flowers for manufacturing honey. When a bee finds the nectar, it starts a special dance which attracts other honey bees also towards the source of nectar. Yes, they are. They do all the major jobs in the hive including of the collection of the nectar. Without the nectar, other bees living in the hive will die. It is interesting to note that even ants also live in same fashion as bees. The queen ant lays eggs. The soldier ants guard the ant's nest. And the worker ants search food and bring it to the nest. Some other insects like the termites and wasps also live in the same manner. You have now reached the end of this module. Before closing this module, let us recall what we have learned so far. Education is the right of every child. Honey bees lay their eggs from October to December. The queen bee lays eggs. The worker bees work all the time. They look after the baby bees, build the hive and collect nectar from flowers for making honey. Ants also live in the same fashion as bees. The queen ant lays eggs. The soldier ants guard the ants nest and the worker ants search food and bring it to the nest. That's all for today. Bye bye.